Okay, folks, what's in the bag? Let's check it out. We're going to start with the front center pocket here. And in my hand, I have a Creative Hobbies Clear Polypropylene Mini Storage Box. They come in a pair. And in here, I have a rifle cleaning kit, GI rifle cleaning kit with the collapsible um, cleaning rod, a.k.a. brass pusher outer. You see, I'm stuck in something stuck in the chamber. Some random piece of Velcro, <laughs> Velcro loop. It came with a, something or other. And obviously, antiseptic towel lights. Four inch Izzy bandage. I've had it for a while. Don't know what the hell else to do with it, so stuck it in the bag. And then uh, a six inch version. Off all the way to the right is my actual trauma kit on my belt there. And that right there is just orange gaffer tape. You can yank on it and it'll pull it out. And then a set of uh, safety glasses. This is, uh, I think, the uh, Eagle. The Eagle, the old Eagle glasses from 511. And that white case in there was just foam earplugs. So that was a piece that I finally found when I took this bag apart. A piece I've been looking for for the Safarzan holster. Here's the other half of the order, the pencil case. And this here is something I got at the container store, 4x6 photo, photograph container, and then what I actually use to clean the barrel of the AR, just a pull through table style Otis system. So here I am, I'm shoving it into the back here, and then the pencil case I shove next to it, not on top, but next to it, and it fits nice and clean. And in the side pocket there. Alright, let's move around to the the right side on your screen. Take care of this bellows pocket and get my my class belt out of the way. Here I'm just putting a, your random pistol slipcase thing in there. And these are the suspenders for the, the belt. It's a USMC surplus Molly war belt. You get this thing out of here. And now, I'm going to move to the back. We'll do the lid. So, just your two open air mesh pockets. In the center is a sleeve with a Velcro cover. And uh, in the left mesh, I'm going to put duct tape. And this travel medic, which as is, comes with band aids and little things like ibuprofen and stuff. So, a pair of tweezers. <laughs> and then I've got some cutlery. So, when you're dining out at the range, salt, pepper, napkins, the whole nine yards. His and hers. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, being South Florida and all, sunblock's pretty important. And of course, the stick is not going to drip all over the damn place. And this is sunblock and insect repellent spray. Pretty old. I don't think Sawyer sells it anymore. A couple of food bars, one of these Costco 48 packs, five for one. And they only last about two months, then they go stale. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for any type of uh, go bag. I have two sharpies and a Glock pen, so I'm putting those in the pen sleeves, and then in the center pocket. I have a couple of pistol record books I got from a member at AR15.com. I just I have one for the Glock and the other one's blank. For now, I might use it for the rifle when I when I rebuild it. And then we have you know, the back of the, of the pocket. It's just a just a sleeve in there. And that's actually the the webbing to put it around the headrest in a car. And here I shove in a an M16 manual and that yellow thing is a safety flag so I have white hook on that side and black loop on the other adhesive backing so I just add that just as I hold it closed because it doesn't stick very well to the nylon not much does and in the right pocket I'm going to put clear glasses and a ziplock to minimize any scratching that's a monocular, a Surefire G2 that I dyed orange, 
it was a yellow one that I dyed orange and then I have uh, very dark goggles so those were Smith goggles in that black case and that was an old extractor from a Glock Gen 3, Glock 19 Gen 3 and some 9mm dummy rounds <laughs> so it all fits in the pocket there no problem just kind of got to keep in mind when you close the lid the pockets and all the stuff in it has to go somewhere so just keep that in mind when you pack these things up and now finally for the inside uh, if you need any 9mm rounds just go to your range you'll find them Everything else from the stall next door <clears throat> coming into mine ejecting into mine I made this out of walnut a long time ago using a router and just a little display for the range this way I don't have to lay the gun down or anything <laughs> yep I'm like that deal with it so I collapse it down got some black hook broken on the back there on the top and I just stick it out to the side. It's perfect. I like this. I've had this tackle box here for a while, but this is just way better. And the upgrade, which is a separate video, of all that chloroplast allows me to stick things like this three, three mag uh, sleeve. It's got a couple of uh, seven round 1911 mags onto the velcro that I attached to the white stuff. The white stuff is chloroplast and it's just basically plastic cardboard. And here I have a 7-shot S-TAC shotgun card and then a couple more of those triple velcro elastic holders for the, in this case, Glock 19 Glockazines. I like it. I think it's cool. This is a Blue Force gear pistol mag holster. It's a hell of a lot easier to work with it when it's mounted on something, anything, because it's it's literally just a floppy thing. So, but uh, I would recommend you check it out. It's very cool for multi tools, flashlights, and of course, pistol mags. So. Uh, just throw it in the bottom of the bag for now. It's just thrown in the bottom of the bag. <clears throat> and then here we have a magazine with one of those Velcro pistol holsters. Inserts, pistol holster inserts. And I just set it up to hold the mag. P mag, 30 rounds. A couple of shoot and see targets. Very nice. If you're not shooting a rifle with the scope, it's like nice. And AR-15 Lula loader, I added some Velcro to it, a pistol mag loader, again, I added some Velcro to the top there, and gold, hard to find, 124 plus P, you'll find it at the gun show on the first day in the morning, after that, people like me have bought it all up, more gold dot, in this case, uh, I think it's 75 grain gold dot. And then some pistol caddies. I've lent this out to people at classes. So, kind of nice to have with you. Just a cotton towel and then a piece of leather remnant that I wrapped up using a rubber band from an old disposable underwater camera. You lay this down on the table. Like I told you, I'm that kind of guy with my guns. So, I keep it in there when I'm being too lazy to use the pistol stand. And then we have pasters. These are white pasters. And then I have another box <coughs> with black pasters. This is it here. Okay. And of course, clean up all the evidence. <laughs> And then a pistol mag loader. I think this is for browning high power, but the Glockazine is worked with it. The 15 rounders do anyway. And then the actual Glock loader that comes with the handgun. These were some belt keepers. 
and I made out of just webbing and buckles for the, for the molly belt. Belt keepers, they keep the belt and your, the waist of your pants together. So this way the belt doesn't ride up and the pants don't ride down or whatever. And I guess I'll do a video on my belt, but as you can see, a little correct folding, a little judicious sticking in there, and boom! Ready for the